Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Xenos rotations. This is a very popular style, but members, make sure to check out the shop. I'm going to be posting this project file and all the presets for free. Anyways, let's start. So the first thing you want to do is check your sequence settings. The frame size does not, does not really matter, but the time base, so this should be 30. And that's simply because Xenos himself uses 30 frames per second across his edits. So let's begin. The main effect we're going to be using is Warp Transform, which is part of the Sapphire plugin as always. So drag it on to your first clip what we need to do is basically make the scale and the rotation out that looks like this so first of all you want to key you want to keyframe the z dist and also the rotate at the beginning z dist set it to 0 0.5 and the rotate to i think 15 head all the way to the end one frame back as always so not between the two clips one frame back and set the z dist to one so back to its original value and the rotate to negative 2.5. In fact, head to the start and set it to 8 instead for the rotate. I want to show you a different example first, which may look better depending on your preference. So you can go to 15 later on if you would like to. Anyways, let's graph this. So open up ZDist and just pull this handle for the second keyframe all the way to the left. Make sure it's balanced just there. Perfect. It looks smooth. Same for the rotate. Open it up and copy my graph like that. Perfect. And now we need to tighten them up as always. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull this up like so for the Z-Dist, perfect. Same goes for this one. Instead of pulling it up, we need to pull it down. So something like that. So far, so good. It looks like this. And you also, you can see that there are there are black like bars around the edges. So just set the wrap X and the wrap Y both to reflect. Step one is now complete. We've got our first scale out and rotation, but we need to transition onto the next clip. So add on warp transform once again. And if you want to, you can minimize the first one head between the clips so what you can do is actually head all the way to the end and 5 10 frames back like so for the second warp transform that we just added set the keyframe for z dist and rotate then head to the end one frame back set the rotate to 8 and the z dist to let's go for 1.2 now you can go for a lower value like 1.1 but this depends on your clip so for example if i was to set something higher let's go 1.4 for some clips the mirror so if i just set these both to reflect the wrap x and the y it may be too obvious and you won't really be able to hide it so you might have to go for something lower like 1.2 or 1.1 but as i said for some clips you can go higher so like 1.4 i'd say the higher the better but it's not really that serious so let's just go for 1.2 which works best for my clips and we're going to graph these as well towards the right so open up graph uh, for the first keyframe z dist all the way to the left balance just there we can always use the velocity to help us so 0 0.1 is fine and whilst we're at it we can also tighten this up like so looks great open up rotate and do the same so just pull it okay let's go for yep yeah, okay 2.4 is fine and pull it up like so perfect let's see how this looks that looks awesome and we can minimize this as well now it's time to move on to the second half so add it on once again and it's pretty much the same procedure but we're just flipping a few things here and there so for example the rotate so uh, let me just start with zdist and set that to 0 0.5 rotate it's going to be so i think previously we did eight so it should be negative eight instead and i'm gonna i'm gonna head halfway my clip because what we are doing is we are transitioning out from the first clip so just here do you see that so we need to finish it off. If we lead it all the way to the end, it might not look as effective, I'd say. So the sweet spot is pretty much like halfway, just there. I'd say about 10 frames ahead to be specific. So 5, 10. Yep, that's perfect. Just going to reset that to 1 and keyframe that. And also graph it like that. Also, do not do make sure to. Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up. Don't pull your handle too high. So if you do that, it's going to dip too quick and it will look very stiff like that. That's not what you want. So something like this is perfect. Anyways, move on to the rotate. So just going to do that as well. Reset it. In fact, no, I think it should be 2.5, I believe. If it's not the right setting, we can always make changes. So I'm just going to go for 2.5 for now and graph that like so. All that. Perfect. Scale out done. And we still have the black bars around the edges. So I need to set them to reflect. Okay, that's done. Now the final effect to finish it off. Okay, so for this one, we need to head all the way to the start, keyframe Z dist and the rotate. Head all the way to the end, one frame back, of course. 1.2, just like last time. And negative eight for the rotate. And just graph it towards the right. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. Pull that. 
velocity at zero. If it's at a negative value, you've probably done it wrong. So that's perfect. And I'm also going to just pull it like so. And do that for the rotate as well. Just there. Zero. Perfect. Okay. And just pull that like so and just to minimize this too now let's play it back hopefully there are no changes that we need to make and oh of course yep okay i missed that i need to open up the second warp transform on the second clip and just set this to reflect there you go now let's play it back it looks great perfect if you want more impact on the second half of the clip so just here do you see how it kind of rotates before finishing it off this is the second keyframe on the first effect that we made here so just there for the rotate instead of 2.5 you can go for 5 which gives it a bit of like a swing motion so if i just play it back you'll know what i mean if it will actually play there you go and there you have it we're done if you would like these presets they are 149 on my ko-fi but of course members as always get them for free thank you for watching peace